recently started jogging and getting healthy just because I want to outlive him so I can go live stream pissing on his fucking grave. <laughs> Maddox, fuck Blair White, fuck Chris Reagan, fuck everybody else that he mentioned, you fucking assholes, you you fucking broing, wagon circling, phony ass motherfuckers. Fuck all of you. You know that that packing material that's plastic with the little bubbles on it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, that's those. what Blair White's tits look like to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put my thumb and pop her fucking tits as psycho. But, uh, Chris Raygun, it was right after. So this is another part of the lawsuit saga. Um, before Maddox sued me, Maddox conned his current girlfriend, this bitch named Mental J or Metal Jess, but I call her Mental Jess. Mental Jess. <laughs> He conned her. So my girlfriend calls me up. She's a teacher. She's a teacher in LA. She's got nothing to do with nothing to do with YouTube. She doesn't want to be famous. She doesn't want to be a celebrity. She only wants to be funny in bed, right? She's perfect. Uh beautiful absolutely beautiful girl. Doesn't want it, doesn't want any more attention than mine. She's, it's amazing. Uh she comes home, she's very upset, and she goes, The school got a call today from someone uh, saying that I can't be around children and making up all these lies about me and that saying that they should fire me and quoting all this shit. I said, well, what, what, the, what the fuck? What do you mean? Um, turns out it was Maddox's girlfriend that he convinced to call all of the elementary schools where my girlfriend works and like tell this elaborate story of how she shouldn't be working with kids. So that was, I think that was right around when Chris Reagan was on Maddox's show. I was like, hey dude, uh, you wanna, you what do you you want to ask Maddox about this fucking shit that you're in that like this is the kind of thing you should have a problem with. I've seen yep. you do videos for less and you're buddying up with this motherfucker. I, I reject it as a creator. I think you're a fraud for not calling it out. And just like morally, you you can stop this shit before it gets worse because this person Maddox is in your little circle of, of bros. You, you guys need to call this shit out to stop it. This is an essential part of society. People calling their friends and saying, hey, you want to pump the brakes on this psycho shit that you're, that you're doing there, uh, Machiavelli? You're causing, you're causing innocent people a lot of fucking pain. Then the lawsuit started, and Ray Gunn's response was, oh, this is just petty drama. This is, I don't want to get involved in petty drama. I'm like, motherfucker, nothing, everything. What, how is this? This, first of all, it's not petty drama to the people involved. It's their fucking lives, you noodly armed, four eyed, spinach shit fuck. You and your fat ass, your fucking tombstone shaped cunt girlfriend don't, are all entirely petty drama. So don't start with that shit. Do not write this off as petty drama, you fucking prick. At least don't respond at all. At least give me a, yeah, that's fucked, but I'm not gonna do anything about it because I'm a fucking pussy. Give me that at least, but petty drama, uh, that was that was the first thing that went out. Then the lawsuit snowballed out of control. Guys, people lost their jobs. It just fucking, it pissed me off, and it pissed me off in a way that I will never get over because then, then it started, fall all these skeptic fucks started falling after that. Fucking Pizza the Hut, Mundane Matt st started like he was the first one that was pro Maddox in the lawsuit. Then he turned out to be an irredeemable sack of shit. Every single one of then this better health shit. St like all of these people are fucking bad. This whole, whole skeptic, septic community is full of of people who live in fear of their audience dwindling, which it always is because they got one home run out of the gate and then they spend the rest of their lives trying to bilk money and views out of hot takes on fucking movies and bolt like talking about gift like wedding registries this is their fucking lives and they're terrified of losing it they now they're like little fucking goblins cuddling together and trying to keep trying to keep the fucking goblin slayers away well I'm the fucking goblin slayer bitch <laughs> I hate Ray Gun and I fucking hate Lacey. Well, well, yo, dude, dude, uh, just real fast was yeah. the most recent when I did we did the, the Jeff Holiday um, episode. Uh, the sorry, the Blair White episode, right, was on her being fake and pretty much abandoning the political audience to do her trans lifestyle. And then she goes, "Oh, everyone that you're watching, most of them are fake." And I was pissed off that she's not, you know, revealing who these people are. Like we made our careers on calling people out for this fucking bullshit, which is why I still fucking do it. And then Jeff Holiday, the next fucking day, he, he's like, 
why is Andy like going after his friends, which she's not my fucking friend. She backstabbed no. me. So well, well, why for for some drama bullshit? Like they call it, like you said, they call this shit drama. It's like, yo, if fucking geek here or Ian fucks up, I'll mm-hmm. say it right on a fucking live show. What are you doing? We'll have an argument or debate about yep. it. Whatever. Well, you're going to fucking, oh, Andy, you have to be hush-hush about that. Fuck you. Fuck That's that. fucking bullshit. Fuck no. And what happened with you, too? You're being sued. Your fucking people lose their fucking jobs and stuff okay. against free fucking speech. And anytime it's within their own company that this happens, oh, shush. Oh, don't worry. It's just drama. There are friends. People make mistakes. But I bet you if, if if fucking, if fucking uh, Maddox had long blue hair, everyone would make a fucking video on oh, yeah. it. It's fucking yeah, bullshit. It's, like, it's just a code word for please don't talk about it. It's That's all it is. Bullshit. That's all it fucking is, dude. It's bullshit, man. Like, they, you know, when people don't want you to talk about something, they'll say, oh, it's drama. Fuck off. Oh, Fuck geez. off. And by the way, when you... If it was you, anybody else, they would talk about it. When yeah. Dick talked about the, uh, the Chris stuff... Right, you, t- you talked about it on Ralph's stream. I was laughing my fucking ass off because I was like, "Yes, someone's speaking out." Like, I don't hate Chris, but like, from what he did, that's a fucking dick move, and he's now just hiding away from it. And then Ralph, I don't know if you know uh, know this dick, but Ralph took that clip and posted it on his channel as a separate video, flagged, yeah. flagged yeah. off of YouTube. I fucking saw that, and then I also saw that uh, that Cuck Raygun and Lacey Green uh, stopped there. Like they were on some stupid retreat where it was like a no technology retreat, and they took a break from that to come out and give this weepy "We did not flag Ralph" video, which, you know, maybe they didn't. Who knows? Yeah, maybe they didn't. I don't. I don't fucking care because this is a this is a business of opinions. It's a business of like all of this, all of this YouTube shit is a business of opinions. And when you have a real bad opinion, you should fucking, you should suffer financially. You should, your views should suffer. People should not fucking trust you as much. Um, that's, and I don't see any other way to see it than that. Like I don't fucking, I don't hate the guy. I don't fucking know the guy, but his entertainment, all of these guys milking uh, this lawsuit drama for entertainment for money has an effect on me. Matt, Tuck Ray Gun, this translates to money and consequences for my fucking life. So um, it's not petty drama to me. It's It's personal for you. It's very fucking personal for me. So...